Algebra 2 Honors, Lesson 13.2, Angles and Angle Measure. Start off with some more rules today. Let's uh, draw an angle in standard position. Well, standard position is easy. Just means put it on a coordinate plane. Put the starting side here on the x-axis. We've got x-axis and y-axis and go 225 degrees that's 90 180 and it's about there we do not have to be precise so 0 degrees 90 degrees 180 degrees 270 degrees you do not have to label the degrees I'm labeling them now just so you can see what's going on we call this the initial side. It's always right there. We don't have to label it. We call this the terminal side. And we call this the vertex, which in this case sits right on top of the origin. Now the question is, is there any other ways we can get to the exact same endpoint? So looking at this, if we start here, how else can we end up here? Well, one of the ways we can do it is by going negative. So we could go negative 135 degrees. How do we know that? Because 135 degrees plus 225 degrees equals 360 degrees. We could go around twice. Go 360 plus 225, which would get us to 585 degrees. We could go negative twice negative 495 degrees. As long as we end up in the same spot, that doesn't matter. We call these coterminal angles. It means they end up in the same spot. That's all it means. Add or subtract 360, add or subtract uh, what we're going to call 2 pi radians in a little bit. That's it. So this leads us to something called the unit circle. The unit circle is uh, just a tool to use in trig to make your life easier. It really does not have uh, an end to and of itself. It's just there to help you understand concepts. Uh, the first concept that's going to help you understand is um, the concept of radians, but we'll get to that point in a minute. First we put the unit circle in the coordinate plane of standard position going to be a minor perfectionist here. There we go. And we label the degrees on it. So we start here at 0 degrees or, and we end up at 360. And once around is 360, so halfway is 180 degrees. Half of that is 90 degrees. This would be 270 degrees. And we also want a bunch of other spots on the unit circle. We want the halfway points which I have memorized and you'll have to memorize too it's not that hard and we want every 30 degrees so 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees 120 degrees, 150 degrees 210 degrees 240 degrees 300 degrees 330 degrees and it gets us back to 360 degrees if you're taking notes, make sure you're pausing the recording because I'm deliberately going a little bit faster just to save time. You can always hit the pause button. This is a unit circle. It has a radius of 1, and that's the name. So if this is the origin of 0, 0, and it's 1 to all the spots, then this point here is the point 1, 0. This is the point... 0 comma 1 this is the point 
negative 1 comma 0 this is the point 0 comma negative 1 and finally what's the circumference of this circle the circumference is 2 times pi times r in this case r equals 1 so the circumference is just 2 pi and this is leading you into the concept of radians radians are how far you go around on the circle since it's circumference you're actually traveling on the circle and we can measure them in radians so once around is 2 pi so this is 0 and 2 pi halfway around is pi half again is pi over 2 half again is pi over 4 I'll go around and fill them all in you can think about it if this is 1 pi over 4 that's 2 pi over 4 this is 3 pi over 4 this is 5 pi over 4 this is 6 pi over 4 but we call it 3 pi over 2 because we reduce and 7 pi over 4 this is pi over 3 pardon me pi over 6 this is pi over 3 this is 2 pi over 3 this is 5 pi over 6 this is 7 pi over 6 this is 4 pi over 3 this is 5 pi over 3 this is 11 pi over 6 that's a unit circle without some of the coordinates I'm gonna put those in next week so don't worry about them now I'm gonna flash back and forth a little bit here radians are huge in the study of trig you can even work with radians in your calculator now sine of 45 degrees in your calculator would give you 0 0.707 if you put your calculator into radians and I'm not sure if my calculator will show up here we'll give it a shot i will show up but I'm not sure if I can get it to show up in the screen oh, there it is hit mode and you go down and if you're in radians you can change it over to degrees hit enter here it's going to be a little tricky. Fit all this in. Quit out of that. And you go sine of 45. You get that. Hit mode. Go down and put it in radians. And sine of pi divided by 4 gives you the same answer. So both of these give you 0 0.707. one is using the measurement of degrees and one is using the measurement of radians how do we convert from radians to degrees well two ways one just pull off the unit circle all the equivalent degrees and radians are shown on there so if I say 5 pi over 4 you go back to your unit circle and you say hmm right here 225 degrees the other way to do it is to recognize the equality that pi is equal to 180 degrees so if you had 5 pi over 4 you multiply by the conversion 180 degrees in pi radians pi's cancel uh, 4 goes into 180 45 times multiply that you get 225 degrees so those are the ways that you can do it try these 23 degrees converted to radians which is by the way a weird thing we call it radians but it's unitless which makes no sense whatsoever whenever possible leave pi in the answer 
And I don't like to go with decimals, and this one doesn't reduce at all, so it's just 23 pi over 180. Done. And you can go the other way. Now, there's no radian in this, so a lot of people get confused. We're going to degrees over pi. We crank it out, we end up with 270 degrees. It doesn't have to have a radian in it. it should, but it doesn't have to. It's really not that big a deal. And that is about it. These first two lessons have covered a lot of materials. We'll spend a day getting caught up, making sure everybody knows what they're doing. Make sure you practice. Good luck.